Hi all, this is Fonorino with a video preview of the Samsung Galaxy Ace, also known as the S5830, a mid-range device featuring Android 2.2 Froyo. What makes this handset different in the mid-range segment is the fact that it features a 3.5-inch capacitive touchscreen, and it looks pretty similar to the iPhone, but let's look at the design closely now before we jump into the interface part. On first sight, many people notice the similarity between the Samsung Galaxy Ace and the iPhone 4, and you have the same silver side lining and the black body. But in the case of the Galaxy Ace, we have a plastic, glossy plastic body. And uh, the first thing that you notice, of course, is the capacitive screen, which we said is 3.5 inches with a resolution of 320 by 480 pixels. And on top of the device, you have an, the, the earpiece. On the bottom, you have a physical key, physical home key, and two capacitive keys on the side. While on the bottom part, you also have a micro, mi the microphone. While on the right-hand side, you have a micro SD slot. And uh, the Galaxy A supports up to 32 gigabytes of memory, and it also ha has the power button here. While the left-hand side holds the volume rocker. And on top you have a 3.5 millimeter jack and a micro USB charging slot which is protected with a lid. The back of the phone hold, holds the 5 megapixel camera equipped with LED flash. It's an autofocus unit and you also have the loudspeaker grill. The interface of the Galaxy Ace is powered by 800 MHz Qualcomm processor and as you can see everything runs pretty smoothly. As you, if you try to uh, open the drop down menu it also opens without a hitch and if you go into the main menu you see some different additions. As you see this doesn't look like the traditional touch with your UI that you're used to on Samsung headsets. You have 12 icons uh, with different colors and they have this funny flipping effect when you click on one of them. So that's the main menu of the Galaxy Ace. The handset supports 3G with HSPA radios with capabilities to support up to 7.2 megabits per second transfers. So we'll do a lot of typing on this handset and messaging. So let's take a look at uh, what we have in terms of input. The first thing you see is the portrait query, uh, the portrait, portrait keyboard that we have and it supports swipe and uh, let's see how that works. And here you go, if swipe input and if we switch into landscape mode, 3.5 inches means a lot more space for typing. And that's how typing works on the Samsung Galaxy Ace. The phone also comes with the full edition of Think Free Office, which allows not only viewing but editing documents. So let's take a look at an Excel file on the 3.5 inch screen. As we said the phone has a 800 megahertz processor, pretty, pretty capable of uh, displaying and editing complex documents. So that's what we have for its business capabilities office. The browser on the Galaxy Ace is the standard Froyo browser. Unfortunately, it comes without flash support. You can get flash support on some other browsers. But what we have here is a pretty capable browser. You can see the 8 MHz processor is a welcome addition to a mid-range device. And you can, it supports multi-touch, so you can easily uh, pinch to zoom. And as you can see, scrolling is pretty smooth also on our very graphically intense web page. And when it comes to media, we have the uh, Android music application, which works pretty good and it's pretty standard. So let's listen to the quality of the sound we have. It's pretty loud on the Galaxy Ace. So let's play this song. And nowadays, most of the media is viewed on YouTube. So let's check out the YouTube client, which is pretty good by Google. As you can see in portrait mode, you can uh, like and easily share many of your videos and that's how the YouTube client uh, looks if we switch to landscape mode we have the full screen view which is gorgeous so there's the YouTube client and media output on the Samsung Galaxy Ace 
The Galaxy Ace comes with a 5 megapixel camera autofocus unit. So let's take a look at the menu. What we have here is plenty of options. You can uh, select different shooting modes. You have continuous shooting action shots and also panorama and a smile shot, which is pretty good for a mid-range device. You have also plenty of modes. And if you click on a mode like portrait mode, you have a quick explanation of just what does it do. So. Uh, Apart from that, we also have uh, options to select flash and uh, we have video recording capabilities, but they max out at only QVGA resolution. Hopefully this will change with the final unit, but uh, what we have now is a prototype that only supports resolution of 320 by 240 videos, which is only good for viewing on the small 3.5 inch screen of the Galaxy Ace. Our expectations about the Samsung Galaxy Ace depend largely on its pricing. Samsung has offered a 3.5 inch capacitive screen which is pretty responsive and pretty good for a mid-range device. It also has the nice reminiscent the nice body reminiscent of the iPhone 4. It also has a 5 megapixel camera and support for 32 gigabytes of memory through hot swappable micro SD cards and that's a pretty good package combined with 3G connectivity pretty good package for a mid-range device even better than the LG, LG Optimus One so finally it all comes down to the pricing that Samsung is gonna give to this product